I'm in the bookie joints with dudes that are 40 and 50 and 65 and 70 years old that's driving Cadillacs and got $10,000 worth of diamond rings on both of their hands and two, three houses and their sisters got two, three houses and their sons got two, three houses and they run in Heron and Weed and Sherman and Peels out of them. And I'm 14 and I'm doing what they say do until I get 18 and I get the education behind me. What's gonna stop me from doing what I didn't t got taught? If I like the kind of lifestyle that they're living and they don't mess with no ugly women, only women that look like her. So you have to have a bankroll. You have to make, wear tailor-made clothes, tailor-made shoes, reptiles on your feet, reptile bit. Yeah, I noticed that belts. when I look at photos from the early 70s, mid 70s of Crips and Bloods, they weren't dressed necessarily in khakis and sweatshirts. They were dressed like gangsters, sharp. Yes, yes, and, and, and also, we would meet up with other gangsters at other clubs and what they hit for. And we would shoot dice. We would play dominoes for money, play cards, bring up the coldest car. He could be in a Fleetwood today with her and his bottom brawl tonight, he'd bring up, a, up to the showcase and he have on something completely different with a derby and his cane and maybe a couple of his brawls with him and a couple dudes with him and he was from the Avalon or the Slawsons or the business. Okay. It was, a, it, it was a high roller guy that came into my life when I was about 17 years old. Keno would wear a different color Barcelona and a different color it's, we, we call campaigning. It's, it's, it's attire. Green alligators, green two-piece tailor suit, green, green Barcelino, okay? Now, I met this man and I got in the car with this man and I drove different places with him, but I had a pistol on me. Kino. Yeah. And his full name that everybody called him was way out Keno because he was way out with it. You know what I mean? He was all the way. He had every flash there was to have. See all these fingers right here? Each one of his fingers, he had $10,000 diamond rings on, okay? His bracelet, his watch was filled with diamonds. The chains that he had on his necks, the, the, the medallions on it were nothing but diamonds. You understand what I'm saying? The man was impeccable as far as my recollection. And then I watched what he did for a living. The man would call your bet when you was throwing the dice. And whatever your bet was, he would double it. Whether he win or lose, he would double it. Guess what I found out? that them people in Las Vegas was giving Keno millions of dollars to come down here and break every high roller in Los Angeles. So that the action would move to Vegas? Yes, and also, and also, this. They kept on going back and forth. Because if you win, he's still getting on the phone and calling somebody and she'll pull up in an El Dorado or a Seville and have a briefcase and he'll go in and he said, okay, get. Get your roll on, tramp. Funky motherfucker, roll the dice. Go ahead. And you roll until you roll up on your house. Or you didn't just run your Rolls Royce. But all he drove was Fleetwoods, different color Cadillac, four-door Cadillacs. He gambled in this town. He gambled all over the world. He gambled. With Las Vegas money. With Las Vegas money. And who he got it from in Vegas? That's interesting. I didn't know. What became of him? Keno 
We all buried him two years ago. Oh, he lasted all that time? Yes, he lasted all that time. We just buried him in 2016. He died. And it was a sad day that we buried him. Because if you was close to him, you couldn't help but love him. He gonna cuss you out, but you couldn't help but love him. Just imagine you do what you do. And you roll with a motherfucker one day and at the end of the night you got 7,000 in your pocket, but you didn't do nothing to listen to him. He didn't do nothing but try to turn you out to be a better you. He believed in you and you didn't believe in yourself. You want to be a film producer? Something happened to you? Keno coming up with all of us and our low riders and everything. Somebody do something to you? We're going to get with their program. And guess what it's going to be? Crips, Bloods, Dope Fiends, Killers, Midgets, Prostitutes, Security Guards. The whole streets. Because he didn't get everybody favors. You know what I mean? So he was the man to go to. He might have somebody come out the pawn shop and go on a purse and shoot you right in your head. You know what I mean? But being a friend of his was the advantage. But that's all I gotta say about my loved one, Kino. Thing. This is just one of the few LA names I know and I'm interested in. Tootie Reese? Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese. Well, the Godfather in Los Angeles. He was a well-respected man. He was a well-loved man. And a year and a half ago, I went to his funeral. Oh, he just, see, I had no idea what happened. He just died. I didn't yes. Know so I know he had- At 84, 86 years old, I forgot. Oh, I had no idea. So he, I know he got a case in like 82 or something. And then he stayed out of trouble, or you don't know? I know that he did 10, 12, 14 years. And when he got out, he was 70 something years old. Oh, already, okay. And then he just rode it on into the sunset. I met him. I was not on his level. He was on my boss's level.